Well boys, we did it. We travelled the full UK in a van. So if you're new here, me and my mate lived out my van for a month, travelling the length of the country doing some crazy shiz and some mad biz. And I made a YouTube series about it. This is the final episode. I hope you enjoy and click the card to watch the rest of the series. Let's get it! Well boys, here it is, the final roadie video, it's been a long journey, we've travelled over 3,000 miles, and it's all led down to this, I hope you've enjoyed the series, just as much as we enjoyed making it, come on, let's get it! Let's have it. We're on a mission right now, boys. We're going up a mass off Hilamanjaro to get to the top and see the bloody Glastonbury Tor. There you can see it. We are going there. And soon we will be there once we give it absolute legs up this absolute monster of a hill on Bear Grylls. And I think I'll drink my own piss at the top just to survive. Even though I had a milkshake about a minute ago. But I'm bare grills. And I'll survive. Even if I'm already surviving. Fuck the path. We ain't make our own way. Go your own way. Go your own way. Up this fucking big hill. Oh my god. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Oh dear god, I'm gonna die. After four days of drinking their own piss, eating nothing but squirrels' kneecaps and ducks' assholes, and shitting in rogue Tesco bags for absolutely no reason at all, the boys finally made it up that 20 minute hike. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Damn Traveling through the woods With the bro ski In a random woods And there's a fall of a tree Do -do -do -do. Some say my musical genius is wasted What is that strange noise from behind the tree? It's a wild scruff bag Happy it's a scruff bag! So we're in an art gallery and these paintings have hallucinogenic written all over them. Like, take a look at these trippy ass pictures, man. Oh, What's Groot saying? He's saying we're cooking up a goodness. He fucking loves it, like, look at him. On his face, you can tell, like, look at that smile on him, mate. That's because we are cooking up some chili sausage pasta right now. Yes, got all the ingredients here. Cooking up the vegetable stock. Stock going in the pot. Stock in the pot, you know. Great success. Yes. Sausage creamy pasta, get on it. And the G bread, in it. Big up the G bread, best bread, this side of this pasta. And now we do the taste test on the is it dank or is it wank scale. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh my God. Now that, that is a, uh, Holy that's definitely dank. That's so dank. Oh, it's so heavily dank. Like, Money Project Food Reviews, out. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen, she lit me the evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Yes. Pull up we to the table. We're back, but we took a little detour. And now, we're in the Cotswolds. Looking at the little ducklings. These ducks are absolutely magical because uh, the water's moving this way. But them bad boys, they're still. I mean, how are you doing that? 
How are you doing? <laughs> You're freaking me out, mate. You're freaking me out. Stop it. Nah, carry on, carry on. Do your thing. I'm not from the Cotswolds. I don't know what works up here. There's loads of them bad boys over here. Let's have a wonder. Let's jump this gap. Yeet! Whoa, that was a bit sketchy to be fair. Get it done. Paco! Paco, Paco. Oh, look at all these cookies. Hello! What? <laughs> Mate, that sounds like he's laughing. That sounds exactly like he's laughing. Oh, maybe we were scaring them. I don't mean to scare you. Let's see them do a dive. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Stop it. Oh, I'm getting embarrassed. Lovely bit of squirrel. Hello. Look at that white one. Albino duck. Albino duck. Albino duck. Oh, I wish we had some bread. Get the bread! There's a fight on over there. Absolute carnage in the duck wall. <laughs> <laughs> Big quacks, you know. I've named that one at the front, Quackman 3000. He just looks like a Quackman 3000 to me. Spit raw material, I'm independent, bitch, I'm in the building. Look what we build it, it feel like no ceiling, we taking it worldwide. Hold it down when you talk to me. Say it is what it's supposed to be. Say it loud, but I mean it to ya. Quackman 3000! Subscribe, you silly goose. Yes, mate. So, we're in the Cotswolds still, but I've seen this spot on Facebook like a long time ago, and I've got a massive list in my notes of like loads of sick spots I've seen on Facebook. This bad boy church was one of them. So here we are at bloody St. Edward's Church. Still on the wall. And we're going to take a little wander on inside. I mean, we've came in the dark, which probably wasn't the best idea, but we've done it. So I can't see a thing with this light in my face, but we're in St. Edward's Church in the pitch black. I mean, that's where you want to be, like. Spooky. Do you want to hear a ghost story? Gotta admit, this is a uh, little bit creepy. Surrounded by gravestones. I mean, there's no place nicer. The reason I wanted to come to this spot was because one of the doors, trees just like grew through the door. And, uh, oh, here we are. Here we are, boys and girls. Mate, this spot is actually sick as fuck. Take a look gander at this spot. This is actually so sick. Pretty fucking sick. So, gonna take some bloody cool ass pictures right now in this bloody little doorway. I can do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. It's too, it's too easy. So, boys, that's the end of the UK Roadie series. It's a shame, but we had a right laugh. Plenty of stuff we haven't seen in the video. So next week there's gonna be a video of untold stories from the road trip because there's plenty of stories you don't need to know about because they're funny as fuck and it's a bit of best bits as well. So I hope you're looking forward to that and then that's the end of the UK Roadie series. And then we're on to something new. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye. UK Roadie.